What's up everybody, Seabass, welcome back to Throttle Hobby. We have the Dodge in here because we're gonna be doing spark plugs today. But before we even do spark plugs, I have to quickly do an oil change on this thing um, because I've already passed mileage and it needs to be done anyway. So, <sighs> I'm gonna let you guys know, um, I have a video on this. I'm gonna put it at the end of the this video. I hate doing this oil change. And you'll see exactly why in that video. But I'm just going to do this really quickly, alright? So, let's get started. Remember Hobbits, it glows blue when Dodge Rams are nearby. Why in God's name would you put it in here? Exploded yet. And that's the end of oil change. So now that that's done with, uh, we're gonna get rid of we're gonna get rid of the old sparks. We're gonna put the new ones in. I'm gonna teach you how to gap them. I'm gonna show you exactly what I do. We'll do one section, and then if anything else I have to do differently, I'll let you guys know. But definitely one of the things I'm gonna do to make it easier for me, especially on this side, is I'm gonna take off this sensor this hose entirely and even this box but that's what we're going to do right now so let's get started so we're going to remove this sensor off hang that over here so we don't forget to plug that in next we're going to take off these two things And then just take this off. Put that off to the side. Next, we're going to get rid of this hose. It goes to the air box. And the air box itself. Now, we're going to remove this whole cover by holding up on these two to get the front two pins out. And now it should just slide off because it's got back two pins that just kind of slide out like this. So here we have the four parts we'll be taking off uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do this first one with you guys it's two per spark plug on this um, what's this thing called a uh, not a coil oh god damn uh... coil packs is what I meant to say so we're gonna undo them looks like it's gonna be either a 10 I think it's a 10 millimeter and then we're going to pop this red clamp up and pull this out. So I'll start with the red clip. I can get to it. Up. Push in. Ah, there it is. Out. Just like that. You pull that in. Pops right out. Cool. 
And now with the 10 millimeter, we're just gonna loosen both sides of this coil pack. Next, we're gonna grab the coil pack and just wiggle it back and forth. And it should come out nice and easy. We could look at it, make sure that there's no oil on it. If there is any oil, that means you need to do valve covers. So good, that one's all right. And inside there, we have our two little sparky boys we gotta get out. Now we're gonna get our special socket here. This one's a uh, 5 8 socket for spark plugs and a small extension. You gotta drop it in the hole it clicks it does grab a wrench and take them out so now that they're loose you can grab a magnet or something and just pull them out and you can inspect them so this spark plug not too bad it's got some white lithium on it or white grease or something electrode isn't too too bad either NGK, good thing we got them. So, it's not wet. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the new ones in. Well, all right. So, we got the two spark plugs out. Now, we're ready to put the new two spark plugs back in. But, before you do that, you have to figure out what the gap is. And that's where a lot of people don't actually do it. How do we gap one? Well, that's very simple. First, we have to find out exactly what the gap is. Now, here, I'm going to show you guys one way. You can go to any kind of website. For instance, we use Pro Demand, right? And here you could enter in all the information. So year, we have a 2014. We have a Dodge, but let's see. It says Ram in question marks. We'll scroll down. Aha, Ram. Go to the 1500. We have the 5.7. Big horn. Pick up crew cab. I don't know why that matters. Uh, four wheel drive, sure. Okay, and then we're going to click use this vehicle. Now it gives us all the information here. So we're gonna to go to here, number seven, which is spark plug. We have a spark plug, we're gonna click on spark plug. And he gives us all the OE, every information we're gonna use. So what we're gonna do is go into OEM specifications. And now we're gonna scroll down, we're gonna to get to spark plug. Cool, spark plug. So here's for the 3.6, 5.7. 5.7 says, uh, the correct gap will be four zero point four zero inch or one millimeter. So on the tool we could see here, if we go over to one, which is what it said here, we flip it over, ah, 40. Okay. But now I know what you're thinking. Well, what if I don't have this computer set? What if I don't have this program? I'm not going to go out and buy a program just to do one spark plug change on one car, right? Makes no sense. Well, everyone's got these phones, right? You can go on Google, turn it on. No one must see my password. Turn it on. Put the exact vehicle you got, and voila. Gap, 4.0 for two-cylinder for a Dodge Ram 1500 V8. Cool. So we know that adds up. That adds up. Now, we can go over to our spark plug. I know people always tell me, well, the spark plugs come with these little plastic things. Yeah, I don't trust that ever. So now we can go and measure it up. So we go here with the tool. We're going to slide the top of the spark plug over like this. So for ours on inches, it's supposed to be 40. As you can see, it goes a little bit past 40, which on the back side will be a little bit past one. So in order to adjust this, what you do is if you need less, which is what we need, we just tap it a couple times and then we put it back on here. We line up. We're a little bit closer to 40. So we're going to do that again. So right there, we're at 40. So we know this one's good. We put this one back. Now we'll do the next one because remember, we got two spark plugs per cylinder. So let's see what this one's at. Do that other spark. This one's almost at 40. 
So that's directly at 40. Cool. Now we can go back to the car and put these bad boys back in. So now that we're back over at the truck, we know the spark plug's at 40. What I'm going to try to do is just slide it back into the hole as best I can. There we go. It's one. And now we'll get the second one out. Two. And now we can tighten them down. So I'll first start out by hand. Make sure that they're in there nice and good. Now we're going to tighten. And now tighten the other one. So, with those two tightened in, we're going to grab our coil pack, slide that back on in. Just like that. Make sure that it presses in, clicks. Now I'm going to put the two 10 millimeter screws back in, hold it in place. And then after we get the two tight, we're just going to go and put the sensor back on. Make sure it clicks, push the red tab in, and that's good. We got two, six more left to go for the sake of everyone's uh, mind and mine. So that way I don't have to keep using the camera. Pretty much do the exact same thing that I did on that one on the rest of them. I'm going to do it. Uh, if anything changes, I'll let you guys know. Um, but uh, yeah, until then, I'm just going to do this side and then we'll move on to the other side. So one other thing I forgot to mention, if you're ever just, if you ever go too hard by trying to set it up like this and you're like, uh oh, I went too far. I hit a little too hard. It's too far. What you can do is grab this the spark plug and the feeder. Oop, camera's losing the tangle. Grab the spark plug and feeder and then just slightly pull back on the orange tank just like this. And then you can get further in, in case you ever beat this in a little too far. So definitely do that. And so for the last one, all I really did was unclip these radiator hoses by using a, a screwdriver to flip these tangs over. These radiator hoses here were there. So I took them out, put them up here, and I'm just going to flip this down so I can get to that last coil pack. And that's pretty much all I did differently for just the backside. So we'll just go and get that done because that is great approval what's not great approval or what i should say is not great osha approval is the sh i made to stand on what the fuck? it's a rim with a battery <laughs> you serious cool so the passenger side is done the only thing is for that back one after i disconnected the hoses i ended up using a uh, small 10 with a small ratchet to see it to those back two 10 millimeter bolts and everything else so cool on to the next side <sighs> we do eight of them which would be a normal car and you realize you have a dodge that's another eight waiting for you on the other side eventually and that's it that's all 16 spark plugs two for each cylinder done i ended up just putting all the stuff back uh pretty much just put it back the same way i took it off sensor and then the only real thing i actually it wasn't even much of a thing just this hose right here i popped off a little electrical connector here or not electrical connector but like a normal connector i put it to this side and then there's one hose over there i just put it on top and over the uh, oil fill uh filler cap and that was it everywhere else you could pretty much get in here uh that middle one you might have to snake your arm underneath that but i didn't disconnect anything you can get everything um via your hands here so the only thing really left to do right now is start it and make sure that my work is correct but it should be edited each spark i made sure they're tight i clipped every clip all the way till it clicks uh i gapped all of them to 40 like the computer said so there's only one way to find out now Absolutely beautiful. Huh. Surprise, motherfucker. I'm gonna go and scan that and see what the hell that's all about. But, no misfires, so that's good. Yep, it was just a little uh, bunk code. It was an intake sensor. 
probably to the top of the uh, intake that I took off. I guess that had a hiccup and it caught it. So I deleted it. I've been waiting here for about 15 minutes. It hasn't come back on, so it's not a sensor could disconnect it. So it's probably just a hiccup. But yeah, she's running good. Um, I was going to do more stuff like clean it and all that, but I'm tired. It's Saturday. It's also dark outside. So I'm going to call it a wrap here. But uh that's pretty much how you do spark plugs on a uh 2014 dodge ram 1500 hemi uh my name is seabass thank you for watching throttle hobby and i'll see you guys in the next episode of well, i don't even know what else i'm gonna be doing but yeah till then later